The incidence of stroke is actually quite high. It's the first cause, the leading cause of severe disability and the fourth uh, leading cause of death. And overall in a population, it's estimated that about 3% of people ultimately have stroke at some time in their life. Here at Stony Brook, uh, we have all of the approved treatments for ischemic stroke, um, in particular intravenous TPA, as well as all of the newer endovascular methods to treat acute ischemic stroke, where we can actually uh, go into the blood vessel that is directly involved and then apply uh, medications such as TPA directly to the clot or use the newer generation of devices uh, such as the solitaire device as well as the penumbra stroke system in order to mechanically remove the clot itself. So when there's an intracranial artery that's blocked every minute that goes by you're losing brain cells and so the sooner that we can get you into a facility like this and the sooner that we can get those blood vessels open the less brain is irreversibly damaged and the better recovery you can have from stroke both in the short term and the long term. These new generations of stent trievers, uh, they're basically temporary stents. They're tiny wire mesh cages that basically grab onto the clot and allow us to remove them physically from the blood vessel itself. At that moment, my, my, I just felt like a, a numbness in, 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 my, in my right side and I just went boom, like right down. They called the uh, EMTs and they arrived very quickly and they had me up here in Stony Brook and less than an hour. So when Mike initially presented to Stony Brook, it became evident to us right away that he was not a candidate for intravenous TPA because of other medications that he was on. Having recognized this, we brought him directly to the cath lab. We were able to go up very quickly with catheters and immediately restore flow and then remove the obstructing blood clot from his brain blood vessels. Once restoring this flow, the brain that was not functioning immediately came back and started functioning and he made a very, very quick recovery to a near neurological baseline almost immediately after the procedure and he's improved since then to his neurological baseline. The aftercare and during the actual procedure was just, just simply tremendous. It was simply tremendous. And the, what can I say? I'm here today. I'm alive. I'm, I'm running. I'm talking to you guys. So in the setting of acute ischemic stroke where a brain blood vessel is blocked, time is brain. And the faster we can achieve revascularization, whether that's through giving intravenous therapies or intraarterial endovascular therapies, the less brain is lost, the better the recovery is from stroke. And so we feel that one of the biggest advantages that we have here at Stony Brook is that we have the, the ability to offer both of these treatment modalities in a very quick and efficient way, all in one setting for patients who present here with stroke. But every day, every day I look at different people and, 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 and I see these folks with these walkers and stuff like that and wheelchairs and that could be me. That could, that, 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 that could be me. And Stony Brook is the only place in Suffolk County where they can get intra-arterial therapy. The care I got at Stony Brook at a, a scale of 1 to 10 was 10. You know, it was just simply amazing.